myself dr amita unity hospital agartala today we will know something regarding fatty liver disease as you all know fatty liver means excess accumulation of fat in the liver it is very common disease it occurs almost 25% of the people worldwide fatty liver disease are actually of two types one is alcohol related fatty liver disease the second is non alcohol related fatty liver disease the second one is more common disease it may occur in male and female both but the male of asian origin are actually at higher risk there are some section of the people in which fatty liver occurs more common among them the patient those who are obese having high cholesterol level diabetic patients and patient those who lead sedentary lifestyles are actually at higher risk the symptoms of fatty liver in most of the cases there are no symptoms and really we cannot diagnose or detect this disease at the early stage the patient in advanced fatty liver might have slight pain in the abdomen that is upper quadrant of the belly and in some of the patient there may be nausea fatigue and jaundice so as there is no sign or early symptoms so it is difficult to detect disease at the early stage how to diagnose fatty liver disease there are few blood markers in which you can detect raised enzymes actually denotes towards fatty liver disease in ultrasound or nowadays elastography which measures the elasticity of the liver actually can detect advanced fatty liver disease the sorrow story is that fatty liver don't have cure the problem begins here so the most important is lifestyle modification among lifestyle modification the most important losing weight doing regular exercise and taking healthy and balanced meal you have to avoid many other foods like fried foods carbonated beverages and candies those are actually detrimental for a fatty liver disease patient so in treatment we have only few choices some pharmacological therapies are actually recommended with limited success so this is a disease where awareness is very important so i hope you have learned lot of things in this short video stay tuned to our youtube channel unity hospital for further updates thank you